She don't spell nobody. Worldwide Jess, worldwide mess. On the Breakfast Club. Safari announces his new book, Allure of Celebrity Dating. You got something to do with that, Charlamagne? No, I don't. If that was me, I would have told him to name it. Uh, nah, that ain't it. No, right, please. <laughs> that, that's that's a better headline, Mm-mm. definitely. And then also, <clears throat> I've been saying that um, his page. He said his page was hacked after posts on Twitter um about wanting to attend Nicki Minaj's concert in disguise. He said he was gonna wear a jean vest. And so that he posted that like a couple nights ago. Like, he didn't say he was calling no jean yeah, vest. I, I'm going to be in disguise and I'm going to be wearing a jean vest. You're going to be the only one in there wearing that. <laughs> so uh, they're going to see you talking about a disguise. And But he said that wasn't him that posted that. The next morning he was like, oh my God, my my um, my um account was hacked. Nobody, nobody believed that. Nobody mm-hmm. believed that. And listen, I be so sick of celebrities doing that. They, they'll post something. I think they be all liquored up and all hot up. Mm-hmm. You know, he's somebody. Okay. You know, and and he be hot up and drink and drinking and stuff. And then they post. They got the liquid courage and they post. And then they wake up the next day and they're like, oh, my God. And then they say that they were hacked. Mm. I was a person that was truly hacked. They don't just hack and give you your stuff back. Like, that that takes a, a So they got to wait. They got to wait like you should wait three, four days. Yeah, dummy. Like, you can't yeah. just wake up and be like, oh, no, I was hacking. And then you didn't even delete the, the post that you said that the other people were posting. But here's the thing. If he wants to go see Nicki Minaj perform, why can't he go see Nicki Minaj perform? I mean, he, he, can. he was clearly the, one of the first barbs. He was probably her, he he was was probably the her first, first fan. Yeah, yes. he was the first bar. So probably, probably the first bar, probably yes. her first super fan. Yes. yes. So why can't he just go to the show? You go with security so the bobs don't try to attack you. And I don't think they're going to do nothing to you in person. No yeah, way. of course. It's about how Safari move. It's about how. Like, it's just so corny. That'd be funny it's as hell to watch Safari in the crowd with Nikki, though. And while yeah. Nikki performing, he doing all the he moves from the crowd. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a... Like, I'm talking about doing all the ad libs. She ain't even performing. <laughs> she ain't even performing did it on him. He just... <laughs> <laughs> but look, I, it's interesting because after that, then he announced the new title of his book, The Allure of Celebrity Dating. Mm. So I think this was all a rollout. <laughs> okay. But it's getting tired, Safari. No. Congratulations, Safari. Hey, yeah, congratulations, congratulations. Are you going to read it? Uh, no, because that's, that's something I'm interested in. I like Safari, my guy, though, but I'm not interested in The Allure of Celebrity Dating. Why would I be interested in that? You're going to read it. Look, <laughs> singer Mariah the Scientist has been trending on social media after she was seen getting into a physical altercation in an Atlanta bar. Now, I saw this yesterday right now. The video started, she was already on the floor, mm-hmm. all right? And then she was struggling to get up, you know, rolling around and down there. And she had a hoodie on. Mm-hmm. So, you know, she meant business or whatever. But they they was like speculating to see who it was. Now, Cleopatra, I believe Cleopatra's from New York, right? She is from... She, all right, but either way, they said it was her. Then they said it was one of Young Thug's baby moms. Mm. What's more believable is that it would be Young Thug's baby mom, one of them. Um, that's just more believable, in my opinion. And Cleopatra's spokesperson said, no, she ain't had nothing to do with that. I, I think she is a rapper or something like that. Like, Who won the fight, though? I don't know. It started with her on the floor. They said oh, she ran up God, and she got true. put down. Mm. But she she was and still cute when she got up. Wouldn't that suck if you was winning the fight when as soon as somebody started recording, this when the person got on the floor? I know. <laughs> look like you're losing. But, but yeah, she the one that came in there looking for the fight. And, and then they when they started the video, she was already on the damn floor. Mm. Mm. So either go hard, go hard or go home, though. I mean, it's she not like you're talking about wrestlers for real, though. Like, because WrestleMania is this weekend. Mm. Mariah the Scientist, Cleopatra. Yeah. I know. Them, <laughs> them, ramp, them uh, names sound like wrestler names, don't they? Mm. All right, look. If you're looking for a Bible. Um, a what? A Bible. Biblehead? Bible. Okay, oh, Bible. Bible. Oh, God. Y'all know my it's bad. my accent. Jesus. If you're looking for a Bible, okay. Trump is now selling them for $60, y'all, and it includes the U.S. Constitution. <laughs> um, Tracy Morgan calls Ozempic great and says he was glad to use it. Um, listen, a lot of people making fun of him for this, but so many people are against it, as I do the quote-unquote thing. Uh-huh. Yep. He, but listen, it helps some people. And Mad if it helps him in any way... I say, since so many people acting like they don't get it and they're so against it, why not have somebody speak up and be like, shoot, they lied to use it. So all I, these people that lose yeah. all that weight are probably on Ozempic. I don't yes. have no problem with you being an Ozempic gold medalist. The only thing I would tell you Jesus. is that uh, what are the long-term effects Diary, of using okay. Ozempic? No, I'm talking about long-term. Yeah. Like, you don't know how that's going to affect you in the long run. Yeah, and then some people you can tell use it because, you know, the skin is still flabby. That It don't tighten your skin up. I yeah. thought you could tell because their head is usually big. It look like a Absolutely. bobble head. Like head. Yeah, like it's people like, can't lose weight in their head. Yeah, they look so. like how people looked when they first, like back in the day when they first started getting like the surgeries. The, the light bulb. Yep. And it wasn't telling nobody. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's how they look now. But mm-hmm. you can look. Like, oh, remember, can we, B-A-S-C-A-R-D? No. 
No. Oh, I thought you were about Fat to say bastard name. From, yeah, I know Fat Bastard. Oh, yeah. no, no. Yeah, remember on mm-hmm. the movie? <laughs> remember he had got the surgery and he was all flabby? Yes, yes. Like that. People used to walk around looking like that. Yeah, I like, you about to say I went to the gym. Like, please don't say that. No, just Fat Bastard. Okay. All right. OVO <laughs> Chubbs. Yeah, I thought so too. I thought so. I, was, I had my finger on the dumb button just in case. For real, for real listen. OVO Chubbs. And he ain't even chubby. Who? OVO Chubbs. Chubbs. No, oh, he no. He's not even chubby. Why no, is his name Chubbs? It's not a part of the story. It's oh. not a part of that Ozempic story. Oh, never story. mind. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Chubbs. So this is Drake man's Lord Chubbs. He said, um, little boy Kendrick should drop Drake this, but he know better. Ooh. So whatever. Well, actually, it's Drake's turn to drop the disc. Because... Kendrick said what he said on the yeah. uh, future record. But he's it's actually Drake's turn to reply. But I think there was rumors but that people said they heard a Kendrick diss or there was a Kendrick diss Yeah, done. but that's what you got in the tuck. By the mm. way, I'm sure Drake got something in the tuck, too. Mm. I'm just saying it's actually Drake's turn right yeah. now. Mm. Yeah. Ain't, K- Kendrick already did what he did. It's mm-hmm. your turn now, Drake. Mm-hmm. But look, all right, I see your finger. But listen, because they cut my rumor short. So look, multiple women online saying they were punched by walking, uh, just walking around in New York City. Yes. Yes, and that's crazy because you did bring this up a little bit. Mm-hmm. But... One woman said she was assaulted walking home. And this is all in broad daylight, y'all. Yep. This is nobody not waiting till it's dark. Another man, I mean, another woman said she was assaulted on her way to work. The third woman said she was attacked by walking her dog. And two of the women described the same suspect. Yep. Right? And all the women were white. Mm-hmm. I just want to let y'all know that. Officials said it's unclear whether the incense incidents they are investigating are connected but they did find a guy they arrested a guy his name is skaboki stora he's 40 years old and he is from brooklyn um he's arrested the picture of him yeah he does look deranged a little deranged he was knocking out karen that's what it yes, was yes yep, all, all white women and it was this, this white lady you have audio play it you guys i was literally just walking that's not and real. a man came it's up real. and punched me in the face i saw the video oh my it's god it hurts so bad not I big as hell talk. <laughs> yeah, big as literally hell, i fell to the ground and now this giant goose egg is forming and i'm like oh my god it looks so crazy it sounds like she laughing but you know like nah, she's not. It's, it's, well, it's not. She not she's in shock for one and also the reason i said it wasn't real because she sounds so stereotypically white like she was like like literally oh like, she sounded oh just God, like, like that that's yeah. what I'm and look like, just like that with but, a knot in her head and they and the other three look and sound just like that too you know they white so well, they I'm just walk and punched it out of nowhere and man uh, eric adams talking about this is the, the second safest city in the country <laughs> well what's the first <laughs> baltimore i don't <laughs> understand <laughs> what's wrong with this man but the sad part is he probably be out he's, he's probably out already he probably arrested yeah. him. He probably got a bond. He's probably oh, out. Oh, yeah. No, no. He got people taking this to custody on Wednesday in connection to the punching, and he's out. See? Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's insane. Mm-hmm. Oh, what you going to say now, girl? You got to come forth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's the second hour. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, I mean, we give you a doggy, too. Man, four after the hour. I, uh... I don't know what to say about this story. Yeah. I don't, I, but we'll talk about it. I want to have a discussion about it. But there's a Playboy Playmate... Who offered? She just wanted to get her man out of jail. We'll talk about it. Oh, I know that's Oh, right. she's a rider. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We'll talk mm-hmm. about it. We'll get to it next. It's mm-hmm. The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.